Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to take a web page that you've already created in Dreamweaver and convert it into a template page so that the uh, overall look and feel, uh, the framework of the page can be applied to other pages. Okay, so let's assume for the sake of argument that this is the style that you were after and you have already saved this as index.html or some other file in Dreamweaver. Okay, so the first step is to back that file up. We want an actual different copy of it. So we're going to say file, save as, and we'll just put index dash older. Let's put original. All right, so now we have that saved copy of the original. So we can go ahead and close that at the tab at the top here, and we're just left with the index.html file. Okay, so now we, again we want to go file, and instead of save as, we will go to save as template. All right, now you need to give the uh, template a description or I, I guess a file name. All right, index is probably not what you want, you don't want it to match your original file. So let's assume this is going to be your site default, so we'll say site dash default, and we can click on save. If we uh, are asked if we want to update links, generally in every case that would be a yes, unless you have some reason not to. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So you can see on the right hand side here in the files tab for Dreamweaver, a new folder has been created if it wasn't already there called templates. Okay, and if we expand that, we have our site default Dreamweaver file. And in fact, because we saved as template, that's the file that we now have open. So you want to make it clear you are no longer working with the original index file uh, or the copy of the original, right? You're not working with this or this, you're working with this, right? And you can tell from the tab up here. So uh, of course, the useful thing about templates is that they have editable regions, right? So you've set everything up and what you want to determine is which areas that need to be uh, unique on each page, right? And what needs to remain the same. So in a case like this, uh, very simple, the only part of the page that is going to change on a page by page basis is this content area here. So what you want to do is uh, you might do this for more than one area, but in this case with the one, you're going to select the content, right? And then you're going to go up to insert template editable region. Okay, and then it's going to ask for a name, so we can say, you know, page content, for example, and we now have this page content area which wraps everything else. Now, depending on the complexity of your page, you may want to go into a code view at this point and just make sure that uh, Dreamweaver has properly selected the uh, the content and that there's nothing else outside of it that uh, that you know outside of these new tags here so template begin editable name equal page content right and then it ends here template end editable so you want the uh, the custom content fully between those two tags right if uh, you know for example if there was an h1 on the outside here and a closing h1 on the outside here but you wanted that style within you don't want of course to apply h1 to everything in your content region right so this is what sometimes happens um, usually not with heading styles but with some other things divs and such that might not have been uh, selected when you uh, did your initial selection so just confirm uh, if you can that your your all of your content is wrapped right and then uh, of course we can go ahead and click save and update. Yes, so there's nothing to update at the moment, but this is the view. And here's uh, when when it is when your template is updating pages, you can click on show log. It gives some useful information about what has been done and where. All right. So uh, so now we have the template, but these two files are still what they were. What we want to do is close the template. So we have the template. Now we're going to go File, New, okay, and then we're going to click on Site Templates. And here is our site default. We're going to click on Create. 
and that's going to create an untitled page with the uh, framework, right? And in this case, at this point, still your original content for your index file, which is important, right? Because we don't want to have to mess with it and put it back in if it disappears. So here we go. We have this untitled theme. We're going to save it over top of index.html. So we go file, save as over top of index.html. We know we're not going to lose anything because we have a copy, right? So we save this. Do you want to overwrite the file? Yes. Okay. So now we confirmed we have our index file with all of our index content, right? The initial page that you set up. Now we can go back into under templates, back into site default, and we can delete the content from page content, right? And then just put, just as a marker, you can put uh, the word content here, hit F5 to refresh, right? And then we can go file, save. Okay, now you'll see that it's updating it what it's asking would you like to update the template files we say go ahead update and in this case because uh, the template itself hasn't changed only the uh, part in the editable region index is not updated right so it doesn't matter what content you could put starter content in, in here that you use uh, generally for every page but you may not need or want to keep uh, and that'll be fine for when you create a new page, but any existing pages will never reflect any changes that you do here uh, within an editable region on your template. That's the whole idea that, that at the document level, editable regions are protected, uh, but what does change is any changes that you make um, outside of that, right? So if we open up index right now, we see it still has all of its content, right? But let's see if we take out map. We're not gonna have the map, right? And we save, we update. Now it's been updated and we go in and the template's updated, but of course the content is sacred. So what you do then is you file new, you have your site default, so you create and you can create the rest of your pages. So you go file, save, and then you say about us, right? And then this is empty, so we can go ahead and save this as contact us, okay? And then um, now that you have those pages, Right. If you click over here and press F5, you'll see them. Okay. Now you can go and link to them. You go into your um, template file here. Drag up to your links. Right. So that's index. Of course, blue on blue. We'd have to change those. Let's say about us. contact us okay of course that's a CSS issue you have to change the uh, the color of the anchor uh, text but now if we go file save update all three files get updated right and if we open in a browser you know click on home about us, contact us, we have the three pages are navigable, all right? So, and that's all keeping the original file in case something messed up when you were creating your template, you have that to go back to should you need to. But that's the basic uh, series of steps from taking a file, a static file that you've created, making a template, and uh, applying it to a number of pages. Thanks for watching.